Hey everybody, how's it going? Uh, welcome to episode three of For My Records. Uh, sorry, I skipped last week. Had some stuff I had to take care of. Um, actually, no, I'm not gonna. I didn't have shit to take care of. I just didn't want to do a video because I was spending time with my family. So, um, yeah, that's how it's gonna be. That's that's how I roll nowadays. Uh, no excuses, just truth-ish. We'll see. Um, but I have. A good amount of stuff to show you um, so let's let's just get to it first up dr. Dre uh, 2001 uh, picked this up because of the aneurysm news <laughs> uh, I didn't want to have a whole nother MF doom situation on my hands where I can't find any vinyl because it's all priced through the roof because of uh, because of an artist's death so um, before I mean, Dr. Dre hasn't passed, but before that possibly happened due to the aneurysm, I ordered this real quick. Um, I have the original, The Chronic, um, had that for years. I love that record. I uh, just never got around to picking up 2001, so decided to do it, uh, and pretty stoked. So here's the back. Uh, nothing special about the vinyl, just black. I think it does have an insert here. Yep. So that, that's the insert. So, um, yeah, pretty happy to have this, actually. Um, I remember when it came out in 2001, I think, or 2000. Um, 99, I guess. Ooh, sorry. Uh, yeah, I remember when this came out. Uh, I think Still Dre, or Still DRE, uh, was a single forgot about Dre was with with Eminem on it he was huge at the time so um yeah I, I haven't listened to it in a really long time so I'm excited to go back and listen to this and uh just let the nostalgia watch over wash over me uh next this is I Am The Avalanche uh their newest record Dive came out last year I had this on pre-order um but they had some issues with uh, microorganisms being in the water that they use for the presses and stuff so they had to uh, like destroy the pre the ones that they had and repress everything and uh, yeah so it, it took a while to get here but it's pretty awesome got this cool marbled gray and white and black uh, vinyl uh, this this press is limited to uh, 300 uh, so it says on the sticker there. Uh, yeah, front, back, uh, pretty, pretty basic, and just a lyric sheet. Nothing, nothing special there. Uh, I am the Avalanche. I've been a big fan of these dudes for a really long time. Um, their first record, their self-titled record, was phenomenal. I forget when I first heard that, but it was early two thousands. I want to say. Um, I'm looking for that one on vinyl, but can't find it at all. I think I saw one posting of it on Discogs for like 400 bucks, and I'm, I'm not I'm not about that life. So uh, um, we'll we'll just keep an eye out for it, and hopefully we'll come across it sometime. Um, I have another one of theirs. It might be Wolverines. Is I think their third record I, I own on vinyl, but um, yeah, great band. If you get around to checking out any of these people that I mentioned. Uh, I'm the Avalanche. Pretty awesome. Really love those guys. Uh, next up, Bad Religion Suffer. This is part of my punk rock holy trinity, uh, this record. Um, this, MXPX's Life in General and Descendants, Everything Sucks. Um, I picked up all three CDs the same day just based on the album covers or the CD covers, the cover art. Um, never really got into punk rock before this. Uh, I can't say I, I don't even think I ever heard punk rock before. These three um, rode my bike, my bicycle bike, up to Harmony House uh, that was pretty close to, to my house when I was 13, 14. Uh, I had some disposable income because I was working uh, at a country club as a caddy. And uh, yeah, I decided to get into some music. And this was one of the first three CDs 
uh, I bought on my own and I love it. I've been looking for it on vinyl for a long time. Uh, not actively recently until I was like, oh, shit, I still need to get that on vinyl. So, uh, yeah, picked it up. Uh, black vinyl, nothing special. Uh, but this this record is phenomenal. It's, uh, I think, just a lyric sheet on the inside. One sec, sorry. Uh, oh, yeah, it's got some little photos. Uh, there is, like, a ton of songs on here. Uh, and they're all super short and that was, uh, I was going to go ahead and try to count the number of songs, but I'm not going to, because <laughs> if you see the titles are like handwritten and I don't want to take up the time, but love this record. Super stoked to finally have it. Um, super good. Next, uh, Mac Miller's, uh, watching movies with the sound off. Yeah watching movies with the sound off. Yeah. Um, I actually wasn't into Mac Miller at the time that this came out. So I haven't really listened to it at all. I just know that this is one of his fans, favorite records of his, um, double album, black vinyl, uh, got a Tyler, the creator feature on it. Action Bronson feature, Nikki Randa, Earl sweatshirt, uh, Schoolboy Q, Absol, Vinny radio. So, um, a lot of pretty cool uh, features on it. I really got into Mac Miller just right before he passed away, really, with uh, swimming. Um, but yeah, super stoked to have this. I uh, can't wait to actually give it a full listen and uh, really enjoy his work. So uh, front cover, back cover, gatefold. So yeah, pretty stoked to have that. Uh, next, we have Outcast Equimini. Uh, this thing is massive. It is three records, um, black vinyl. Uh, I love Outcast. Back cover. Um, not really much to say about Outcast that you don't know. They're fantastic. Big Boy is just phenomenal, and Andre 3000 is an incredible lyricist. Um, yeah, I don't remember when I first got into Outcast. It might have been with this record. Yeah, Rosa Parks is on this record. That's what I thought. Uh, so I think it was this record that I first got into him with. Um, love it. Super good. It's just such a dense listen. Uh, and it takes a while. So pretty stoked to have it, though. So got that. And then also picked up Outcast's uh, Southern, Play Southern Playalistic Cadillac Music. Uh, I had to read it because it's, yeah. Uh, <laughs> but uh, this is their first full-length LP. Um, phenomenal, of course. Uh, I just watched Evolution of Hip Hop on Netflix. And they did, like, an entire episode of uh, Outkast and the, the Southern uh, Dirty South Hip Hop. And... Uh, it was awesome. They did this in like a friggin' dirt basement, uh, which is incredible. I can't believe that they recorded and produced this in a in a like a dirt basement. <laughs> they called the dungeon. So um, pretty amazing. Back cover. Yeah. Next, we have Rustin Kelly's uh, "Shape and Destroy." This is the only country record I listened to last year. Um, really love it. Um, I cannot make it through this record without crying, usually. Uh, <laughs> but it's super, super good. Um, there is one track in particular called Brave that just makes me weep. Um, back cover. And you got like a gold insert or sleeve, really. Um, black vinyl. And uh, yeah, it's it's super good. Uh, not your typical run-of-the-mill pop country type stuff. Uh, he, I think he actually considers himself emo dirt or dirt emo. Um, so that kind of gives you an idea 
uh, what kind of country he is. Um, but I really, really enjoy this record. Um, Radio Cloud is the kind of single. Um, I know there's a video for it on YouTube. Uh, trying to think of... Yeah, I just love this whole record. I was going to say I'll give you like a top three songs on it, but they're really just really good. In the Blue, the opening track is really good. Um, Rubber is really good. It's a, There's a whole lot of tracks on here about um, like overcoming substance abuse and mental illness and yeah, just trying to kind of find yourself. And throughout 2020, I think everybody was having that most of that situation. I don't know about the substance abuse, but, uh, yeah, the, the looking for oneself and anxiety of that really resonated last year. Next up, Joe Budden's self-titled record, uh, first record with his big, one big hit, uh, pump it up, uh, pick this up on discogs for super cheap because it is messed up. If you look at this back cover, uh, it's ripped up and ripped to hell. Um, yeah, it, it's in rough condition, but the vinyl is good. So super stoked about that. And then lastly, um, A1 and Phonics, the actual proof. Um, I get on Bandcamp a lot and look up like underground hip hop and come across some pretty cool stuff. And this is one of those instances, super cool, jazzy, um, great flowy beats, uh, the, 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 the bars and the skills of rapping are just phenomenal. A1 does an amazing job. Um, and that's the back cover. Yeah, love it. It's super, super good. If you're into, uh, kind of underground hip hop, jazzy kind of stuff, check this out. Super good. I, I really, really enjoyed it. And I, I'll talk it up to everybody. Um, but yeah, that's it. Uh, that's it for episode three. Hope you enjoyed, and uh, I'll see you guys later. Bye.